Good day everyone. Welcome to accounting master class. Uh, today we are doing accounting November 2021. Uh, this paper, this is accounting November 2021 paper one. We are doing paper one. We have already done paper two. Now we are doing paper one. And then we are starting with question one of this paper, which is on page three of the paper. And question one is based on statement of financial position. Question one is based on statement of financial position. Statement of financial position. That's question one. We are dealing with the financial statement. Statement of financial position, also known as the balance sheet. Right, question one is 55 marks for 45 minutes. GMO Limited. The information relates to the financial year ended 30 June 2021. The financial year end is 30 June 2021. 30 June 2021. Which then suggests that if our year ends in June, it means it starts in July. So that will be the 1st of July 2020. So this accounting period started on the 1st of July 2020 and the end is the 30th of June 2021. All right. Uh, 1.1 refer to information P calculates the value of the closing stock of formal suits that was omitted from the stock sheet on 30 June 2021. We want to calculate the value of the uh, closing stock that was omitted from the stock sheet. So we want to calculate. So we do have the trading stock in information A, which is four million one hundred ninety-eight thousand five hundred. But now there is stock that was omitted when we calculated that value, and that is information B. Let's go to information B. Information B says that is on page four. The accountant omitted the closing stock figure of formal suits in the trading stock balance provided in information A. The first in first out method is used to value the stock of the formal suit. All other relevant entries have been recorded correctly. Balances on the 1st of July 2020 was 110 and 30th June 2021 it was 240. Right? So the balance is 240 on 30 June 22. So we want to calculate the value, the closing stock value of the 240 units. So the number of units in the closing stock is 240. That's the total number of units. And we want to calculate the value of the 240 units using the first in, first out method. Right? If you look at the information provided in information B, um the returns we have the returns on the 25th of may 2021 remember when you are calculating the value of the closing stock using fifo method when you are selling according to the fifo method it's first in first out so the oldest stock is sold first so whatever that is remaining it should be the stock that was last purchased so if you look at the stock that was last purchased here it is it was on the 18th of may 2021 so when you are calculating the value of the closing stock according to the fifo you must start from the bottom and move up but you will be guided by the number of units which are in the closing stock so the last stock that was purchased was which we are sure that is still in stock it is it was on the 18th of may 2021 where we purchased 230 units we bought 230 units but we returned 24 units so which then tells us we bought 230 and returned 24. So in May, it tells us that we only had 230 minus 24, we only had 206, 206 units. Because we bought 230, that's the quantity, but we returned, under returns, it is 24 units. So 230 minus 24 equals to 
equals to 206 and the unit price for May stock it is 206 multiplied by 2850 that's the unit price 260 we are calculating the value of the closing stock and our calculation we start from the bottom and we are moving up but we are directed by the number of units left in the closing stock so 206 multiplied by 2850 equals to 587,100 587,100 so we need to go up a little bit because the total number of units in the closing stock is 240 so we are starting from the bottom which is may and if we are going up we are going to february now we're moving a little bit up to february but how many units are we going to take from February? Because the total number of units in the closing stock is 240. And we have already taken 206 from May. We are only short of 34 here. We are only short of 34. So here we are going to take 34. And then 206 plus 34 will give you 14240. Yes, we are short of 34. So 34 units multiplied by February stock. February stock, the unit cost is 2,600. So 34 multiplied by 2,600. 34 multiplied by 2,600. 34 multiplied by 2,600 will give you 88,400. 88,400 so the value of the closing stock 34 multiplied by 2600 gives you 88,400 and that 88,400 if you add it to 587,100 587,100 then the value will be 675,500. The value of the closing stock is 675,500. That's the value of the closing stock using FIFO method. The total number of units in the closing stock is 240. And therefore, when you're calculating the value of the closing stock using the FIFO method, you start from the bottom. The bottom, you had 230, but there were also returns of 24. So then it gives us 206 multiplied by 250, which is 2,850 which is 587,900. And then we have to go up a little bit and we take, we took 34 multiplied by 2,600 equals to 88,400. And then you add the two figures, the total closing stock value is 675,500. Right. Then let's go back to the questions, page three. And then now we are doing 1.2.